Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a review on Blade Arcus from Shining Battle Arena. And this is for the PC Steam version. If they ever bring it over to the PS4 for North America and other countries, then I'll be really happy, and I'm sure it's going to make a lot of fans of the series happy. So let's get on with the review. Almost a year has passed since the 2D anime fighter Blade Arcs from Shining Battle Arena released in Japan. Now the game is finally being made available in the West on PC by the developer slash publisher Studio Saizen Sen. Sorry if I butchered the name. This fighting game introduces characters from the Shining Blade and Shining Hearts PSP games. It also introduces two new characters, Ryuga, or how they'll say it like Ryuga, like they'll say it really fast. They don't speak real slow in the game at all. And Pyron. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but they speak faster. That's basically the differences with the names usually, is they speak really fast. One question you might have, does this game have a story mode? And the answer to that is yes, indeed it does. The story is based around each character fighting and collecting all of the seven orbs. Once a character has all seven orbs, they will have to face a shadow version of themselves and will be rewarded with what they desire most in this world. There are 16 different characters and 16 stories to go along with each character. And you might think this is kind of similar, the final boss being very similar to another game, but it's still very different. It's not the exact same as every single other fighting game out there. Blade Arcus from Shining Battle Arena's pacing is fine and does a good job of putting together an entertaining and intriguing storyline for each and every character. Some of the characters' stories will almost be the exact same, but there are some very unique ones too. Each storyline with the cutscenes and gameplay will last anywhere from around 18 to 40 minutes. If a player wants to get through the story faster, he or she can simply change the amount of rounds in each story fight to one or two rounds it starts at three which can kind of get annoying if you're never really losing at all and you don't really need that extra round at all so one or two rounds i'd say two to keep it more interesting if you want to go with one you can go with one and if you play on very easy mode i tried easy and it was way too easy so very easy they probably just stand still i don't know i wouldn't play it on that Try to play it on normal or higher. I wouldn't recommend easy or the other ones. It's just not fun at all on those modes. Along with story mode, Blade Arcs from Shining Battle Arena contains versus, training, and online modes. Versus mode lets you play one or two players against each other or against the computer. Training mode helps prepare for those really hard fights and teaches you the basics in fighting. Online mode isn't available pre-launch, so I cannot comment on that at this time. I don't know if the servers are good or not. I don't know how it is. All I know is that it's an online mode where you can play against other people. So it's pretty self-explanatory with all these modes. Fighting gameplay in Blade Arcs from Shining Battle Arena is not like most fighting games. It also requires a lot of buttons needing to be changed around in the settings. I personally didn't like the original setup of the controls, so I switched them until they felt comfortable. If you can get a fighting pad or special fighting controller for your PC, it would probably be the best setup for this game. Using the keyboard was quite difficult, so I stuck with the PlayStation 4 controller plugged into my computer. I have a program for that, and it works great. There are four main inputs in the game, light attack, medium attack, strong attack, and support link. Players can use the D-pad or analog sticks along with these main inputs to create powerful combos and work their way towards unlocking Link Force attacks and EX Force actions. These are powerful attacks that unlock once you have enough points built up on certain meters in the game. The support characters actually feel useful in this game and can provide help when your character is in dire need of support. If players need additional help, they can simply go to the manual in the main menu for more assistance, and it's very helpful. They teach you how to block in there. 
because when I went to the controls on the pause menu, it doesn't show what to do for blocking at all. So for the first 13 or more story mode gameplays that I have on my channel, I don't block at all because there's no explanation of it at all. You probably get it in the training mode, but I didn't feel the need to do that because I was having a fantastic time in the story modes. I just didn't know how to block, so that probably would have helped if I would have known that, but it's in the manual, so go check it out. Graphics are absolutely beautiful in this game. It ran smoothly on my PC. I have a GTX 970. I don't think you need the best PC ever. I'll leave a link to the game so that you guys can check the specs, and I might comment it below. If I don't, you guys can comment the minimum specs down below, and it'll help you all out because my computer apparently is good enough to play most games. So I didn't have any problems. I didn't have any frames dropped at all. It shows up on my computer recording program. It didn't drop any frames. From the beautiful looking characters and stunning backgrounds, it is an astonishing looking game. Overall, Blade Arcus from Shining Battle Arena's gameplay can be fantastically fun for everyone. With its multiple difficulties, very easy, easy, normal, hard and very hard and multiple storylines it has become one of my favorites of all time i just wish that the game would come to north american psn store please sega you need to bring a bunch of your games over we like your games bring them over give it to atlas or i guess deep silver now give it to some of them they can work on it hopefully deep silver doesn't screw any of that up if they do work on it because they just been rehashing games now and yeah hopefully deep silver if you give it to them make sure they do a good job the only gripe that i had in the game was with playing on a keyboard and rosalind's shadow boss it is the hardest one in the game normal rosalind when you meet her in the game like when you fight against her her normal self she's not as hard but her shadow boss character is hard as Mm, like it's so hard. I actually lost my first time fighting her and then I beat her one time I had it on two rounds. If I would have had a third round it might have helped but then when it said continue I kept pressing every but I pressed every button on the controller then it kept going it was going five four and then I pressed everything on the keyboard nothing continued the game so make sure you guys win because I have no idea how to continue. You think there would be like a yes, no? There was nothing like that. And I just pressed X, I pressed circle, triangle, square, I pressed every button on the controller. And then I kept pressing all of them. And then I pressed, and here's the thing, I don't think I pressed the options button. That might be the button, but hopefully you guys won't lose. I wasn't able to beat her with my own Rosalind, so I beat her with my support character actually, and I barely did. She's a tough character. Her attacks are so strong. That's what makes her difficult and she doesn't take long to kill you. So be careful with her. Use a speedy character. Speed is so much fun in this game. I ended up giving this game a nine out of 10 because it is a perfect fighting game for fans of anime and games like Persona 4 Arena and Fighting Climax. I can't remember the entire title because it's very long. I think that's also another Sega game. That was a fun game. And anything like that, it's similar to some of these styles of like what the games are there's just more fights in this game story mode than guilty gear and some of these other games i like it better in guilty gear it's a lot better and it is not made by arc system software so you can upload this all you want hopefully <sighs> hopefully sega won't be like arc system software okay so if you'd like to buy the game and help support my channel you can go use the link in the description below. I might have one to the actual Amazon. If Amazon has a link for the game that you buy that you get a Steam code for, I'll have that down below. Or I'll just have a Steam card link below. And then you guys can buy it on Steam and help support me. I also have a full written review. Go check that out. When you go to my WordPress blog, you're going to have to like let it load a little bit because otherwise it'll just close. That's what it's been doing on me. I have no idea why. I guess it's because I got too many reviews. And I also have a new forum where you guys can post reviews, platinum trophy guides. If you have good videos on walkthroughs, you can post it on there too for games. And it's free for everyone. It's not like you get charged for it. It just helps everyone out. 
So go check that out in the link below. Also check out my walkthrough gameplay videos. Those will all be posted when embargoes up, so you'll get to see those as soon as this review is up. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe. See ya.